Workflows have an isolated scope. This means that they cannot access data that lives outside unless it's passed via input parameters. In our example, we had a simple workflow that sent a static PDF code to a hard-coded email address. So let's edit the workflow and add two input parameters, one for the lead and one for the plan. Each parameter has a type. By default it's text, but I can change it. You might recognize these types from the entity properties. There are the primitive types and the entity types. By selecting the lead entity, we connect it to the data in our application. Let's do the same thing for the plan parameter. Workflows accept any number of inputs that are defined in this manner. They are used inside the processes to define the flow and the behavior. For example, double-click on the generate code action to bring up its properties. We'll want to modify the PDF template to use the actual plan that we received as an input into the workflow. To do that, select the plan name that we hard-coded and replace it with its corresponding token. The first part before the column is the input parameter name. The next part is the name of the property as we define it in the entity builder. All tokens are placed between square brackets. Now do the same for pricing and save. In Plant and App, most of the actions support tokens, including the send email action, where we need to change it so the email is sent to the lead instead. Besides input, there are also output parameters that are used to return data from workflows. We want to capture the date and time when the code was generated. We can achieve that by typing a name for the parameter and using the date now token. So besides the tokens that were generated from the input parameters, Plant and App comes with hundreds of pre-built tokens that can be used inside workflows. Now save and let's test the work we did so far. Notice the two input parameters that we've just created. We'll have to provide IDs for existing leads and plans so we can run the process. The workflow returned the code date as expected and also sent the PDF code via email. We can review it to confirm that it contains the correct data before moving to the next step, which is using this workflow in the application.